Welcome to another edition of Pop It. It's a game show about pop culture, opinions, five topics, 30 second responses. We see who has the funniest, the smartest, the most original responses. Uh, today playing is our previous, uh, now is it three times in a row plays? Or two times, no. two times in a row. <laughs> well, you've won a few times. Our previous winner, Blaze, that's for sure. <laughs> We're bringing back Alexa Azari, one of my favorite neighbors. Just found out that we live down the street, basically. <laughs> yeah. And Brendan Kelly is also returning after making some really controversial opinions that the comments section went in for last time. Uh, I did not know who went in on you, Brendan, but uh, you'll have to check them out. They're kind of funny. So today, Wait, we're, what? yeah, people went in on your comments. It was so funny. But um, yeah, so fingers crossed that you have some spicy stuff to say today because it gets the people going. All righty, all righty. Let me get my stopwatch ready. First topic today, rumor has it, literally, because Adele has a song called Rumor Has It, that Adele and Beyonce are collaborating together on a song. Are we excited? What do we expect, Blaze? Let's start with you. You know, I really hope and pray this is true. I mean, I think we all felt Adele in that 2017 Grammy win when she's like, Beyonce is the queen. We all know she should have been up here. That Lemonade album was in insane. But like, I am also a huge Adele fan. I'm happy she won. So I really just hope and pray these two powerhouses, like just, just like sing to the heavens and really just rip my heart apart. Oh, that's your time. Brendan, what do you think of Adele Beyonce together? Oh my God. Okay. So we want the real response. So I think Beyonce is extremely overrated. I like the old Beyonce. So I feel as if like Adele is kind of doing like an act of charity. Um, I love Adele so much. I saw her live at her last concert in Melbourne, Australia. I sobbed. I went by myself. Um, it was absolutely amazing. I mean, good for Beyonce getting back there, but I feel like the voices may not match up well enough. Mm, I think I, I kind of get what you mean. And Alexa, your take on Beyonce and Adele. How many times do these people get cheated on and done? <laughs> because do we really need like a Beyonce Adele team up like I, I would have understood for like Lemonade but like is it going to be like that again but this time with like Adele just over there singing just like you know oh you know I don't need no man I lost all this weight and a bunch of people are going to be like crying and stuff but I, I just I just don't I just don't I feel like it would be a repeat of Lemonade so not really interesting exciting. Well, I kind of want it to be upbeat because can you imagine like a sad ballad with those two together? Like I want like a club banger. That's what I want out of this, if it's true. So the rumor's been debunked, but there was a rumor that Kanye West was cheating on Kim with one and only Jeffree Star. Um, I'm sure you all heard the news. What was your first reaction to this rumor that, let me repeat it for the sake of YouTube police, it's debunked, it didn't happen, it was made up. But when you first heard this rumor, what was your thoughts? Alexa, you first. I wasn't surprised. I mean, I feel like the Kanye West type is always the type to go for, you know, a man in a wig. But I mean, that just is what it is. But I thought that would have been the one acceptable circumstance to storm the Capitol if we had President Kanye West and First Lady Jeffree Star. Then I'd understand, yeah, let's bring the news, let's bring a guillotine. We don't deserve to be a country anymore. That's my thoughts on that. <laughs> Brendan, what do you think about it? Honestly, I feel like they're both like mentally unstable. Like I, I think it kind of, I kind of wanted it to be true just for like the drama, but like, it was kind of like way too unbelievable. But then I was like, Kanye did pee on his Grammy or whatever. And like, what's it, Nathan's or Jeffree Star is like all, always all over the place. But like, there was some cool like info to, or like info to back it up. Like they were both in mine's hand at the same time or something like that. So I guess I could kind of see it, but also it's like, I'm glad it didn't happen. Um, and also I feel like they both smell. <laughs> Blaze, what do you think of the rumor debunked about Jeffrey and Kanye? What was your reaction to it? I honestly don't even care whatever goes on with Kanye. I don't even know who Jeffree Star is. I know that's a human that's on this earth. I guess he's like a beauty inspiration person. Clearly my beauty was never inspired. So I am not a watcher of his videos. And I have been done with Kanye since 09 or 07. Whatever year he interrupted Taylor Swift, I was done with his madness and he's only de-escalated since then. Ooh, hot topics. I gotta say, when I first heard it, my first thought was, okay, you're gonna cheat on Kim Kardashian with Jeffree Star? Like, I don't know, like maybe like a Harry Styles or a Timothy Chalet who kind of has that masculinity and femininity. That would have been a good pick. But that was my first reaction was like, that's who you picked. 
<laughs> Moving on, Lana Del Rey released her song Chemtrails Over the Country Club and a, I would say, a little shocking music video. Blaze, back to you. Thoughts? So I watched this video for the first time today. The first three minutes, I thought I was in heaven. You have that classic Lana Del Rey sound with this like very vintage, beautifully shot video. And then she like bites into a lemon, like with just her teeth, like raw lemon. And I was like, wait, what's happening? Where there's like a girl cult going on. There's wolves. I I was so confused. I rewatched the video just the first three minutes because I just I just like that part. I, I guess it's too deep for me. Moving on to Brendan, what do we think of the new Lana? I agree with Blaze. I thought the first few minutes were absolutely beautiful. And I was watching it at the same time as my friend Haley. And then she starts like getting possessed and I got really freaked out. So I started like saying a little prayer, kissing my miraculous medal, hoping that I didn't go to heaven when, or I'm sorry, to hell. And we all know I'm still riding like shotgun there. But I thought it was very disturbing and it wasn't her. Um, I don't know if it was like a COVID crazy like music video, but also what was up with the like the mask that was like not even a mask? Like she was trying to make a, like a point. No, she wasn't. It was horrible. <laughs> Moving on to Alexa, new Lana Del Rey song and video. What do you think? Yeah, they're going to be selling that mask at Forever 21. And you know, for a fact, that is not going to be effective. You're not going to be allowed to go into a store with it. Second of all, I, I really didn't understand like the vampire thing. Like I like the song, it's cool. It made me want to relapse a little bit, you know, just like sitting there with like my heroin eyelash falling off, smoking a cigarette, waking up after my drug dealer broke up with me on a Monday at 4.30 a.m. And I'm just like having my moment. It's giving you very that, but like other than that, like the vampire thing, it's, tr- it's just trying to be deep for deep sake. I don't think it meant anything. That's your time. Okay, I love the vampire twist. I thought it was unexpected, and it kind of fit with, like, the the idea of the chemtrails and everything. I liked it personally, but I get that it was a freaky juxtaposition. But I got to agree, the song for me, I love. It was making me feel like I was about to OD myself and that I was living a lie in America. That's kind of how I felt. So (laughs) great points there by Alexa. Moving on to uh, the new song Driver's License uh, by Olivia Rodrigo. It's blowing up. It's going to debut at number one in the Hot 100. Uh, What do we think of the song? Do we like it? Alexa, back to you. Um, I was really confused by it because she's sitting there and she's singing about like being out on the open road with her boyfriend driving through the suburbs. But the music would make you think she's driving through like war torn Syria and like she's just been through all the trauma. It's like you're 12. Ain't no reason to be that depressed. Living the Disney life. It's. I felt like the lyrics didn't match the sound. I thought it was something she did for Disney, but I guess not. That's just her life. But I mean, do your thing. Not a fan. Ooh, not a fan. Brandon, driver's license. Uh, what's your hot take? Okay, at first I thought it was called seatbelt and I commented on that on a big TikTokers. Like TikTok ended up getting nearly 70,000 likes just on my comment. Um, also, I, I fell in love with that. I listened to it on repeat. Um, it makes me feel like I was broken up with when I haven't even had a boyfriend in like a year. I mean, like garbage, whatever. But um, also, I was kind of confused. One of the lyrics was like, she just turned 17, I believe. And she's like, oh, you're hanging around with a girl who's much older than me. I'm like, how old is this woman? Like 35, 40? Like, is this consensual or what? But other than that, I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. <laughs> That's your time. Uh, Blaze, moving on to you. Driver's license. I know you have a hot take on this too. Yeah, listen, I heard about this like over some like E! News thing and I was invested because I watched like High School Musical, the series. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> Sometimes it's nice to watch high schoolers in their easy lives. But I think I love this girl's voice. I love a good storyteller and like a moody voice. Like you can just hear the emotion in this song. And I think it's a great song for a 17 year old. I love the song. I hate how much they're talking about this relationship. Just talk about how good this song is. It's very Mm -hmm. like Taylor Swift vibes, like great storytelling and about a breakup. So I'm getting early Taylor Swift vibes from this girl. (laughs) I have to tell you, I think I was expecting it to be a little bit more poppy. So I liked that she was like, it's going to be a piano ballad and you're going to have it and you're going to enjoy it. You know, I think it's really easy to like want to sell out. I will say I, the metaphor was a little overstretched for me. Like every line was like, and I drived past the yield sign and I thought of how I yielded to you. And I, the, the green light meant I could go, but then you turned into a red light and I stopped. And it's like, okay, we get it. The driver, we, we get it. 
One other thing I have an issue with, the song is literally called Drivers with No Apostrophe License. That is incorrect. You are not E.E. E. Cummings. Put the apostrophe in there, Olivia Rodrigo. It's making me upset, children. Ugh. Anyway, this has to be the most scandalous topic today. Arnie Hammer is under fire for loads of DMs, loads of people coming forward saying that he is sexually into cannibalism and he wants to eat people and he, he's really, it's really, the DMs are something else. Blaze, back to you. Dive us through this. I was really hoping not to have to be the first person to talk about this. Um, it's, I don't know. I tried to look it up today. It's a lot under speculation. They're trying to say it's not real, but he's liked some bondage tweets in the past. So is it a stretch that he's into a little kinky, even darker Listen, I'm not going to bondage shame you. Some people are into it, but cannibalism and like sucking blood is kind of where I draw the line. Okay. Blaze with the very reasonable take, I would say. (laughs) Uh, Brendan, I feel like you have some hot things you want to say about this. I I agree to a point with Blaze, but I'm just saying he can cook me like a medium filet mignon with a side of risotto and nice little asparagus i am in love with this man if it's true about the other stuff that he did then he's canceled but if it's not um my username is at brennan kelly eight on tiktok go ahead and slide into my dms army hammer all right you've made it very clear where you stand on arnie hammer um alexa take it away arnie hammer and the cannibalism I'm here for it. I remember when I was younger, I used to go on like the way back machine on the computer to look up Cannibal Cafe because there was that case of that guy, Armin Muse, who like, like he met someone consensually, but like he ate his willy, like he chopped it up like a hot dog, ate it. It was in Germany, but it was consensual. Like they both consented to do it, but he's still in jail because they like changed the law because I guess there was a loophole at the time. Cannibalism was legal. But anyway, do what you want as long as you're not hurting anyone. You know, I'm not sure if it's like more role play that he's into. If so, you know, put some ketchup, lick it off. I don't know, whatever, do your thing. All right, that's your time. I got to say too, if you're two consenting adults and you're down to clown and in this way, if you're down to eat each other a little bit too much, I mean, go for it. But some of the stories, some of these girls seemed really traumatized and that is definitely an issue that I have with it. All right, well, let's take a look, let's take a look at these tasty results. It was very close, one to one to one with 24 points is Blaze today. With 25 points is Brendan and with 26 is Alexa ah. today. Alexa, can you come back in two weeks, Alexa, and play another game with us? As long as I'm not eating someone else. <laughs> Well, if Arnie Hammer slides in Alexis DMs, we won't see her ever again. But until next time, peace out. Thanks for playing Pop It.